Welcome back to Tour Near Travel. This time we're looking at the southern half of our favorite travel destination, Italy. In this video we're taking a tour of the 10 southern states of this amazing country to see why they're worth visiting. Stick around to the end of the video to see all 10 of these regions and leave a comment below to let us know which one is your favorite. And so, if you're a fan of epic travel videos, remember to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Welcome to your tour of the regions of southern Italy, the cultural beating heart of the country, known for its slower pace, iconic food and unmatched coastlines. Let's start our journey in the southernmost state of Italy, Sicily. This island is known for its rich cultural heritage, beautiful beaches and unmistakable cuisine. This island is the largest in the Mediterranean and has a rich history that has been shaped by a variety of cultures including Greek, Roman, Arabic and Norman. One of the must-see places in Sicily is the ancient city of Syracuse which was founded by the Greeks in the 8th century BCE. Here you can visit the impressive Ear of Dionysus or Orecho di Dionysio and the Roman Amphitheatre. Another popular destination is the Valley of the Temples in Agrigento where you can see well-preserved ruins of ancient Greek temples. Mount Etna is also a must-see destination in Sicily. It's the highest active volcano in Europe and offers a variety of activities such as hiking, skiing and a scenic cable car ride. The island is known for its delicious seafood such as swordfish and tuna as well as other traditional dishes. Sicily is definitely one of a kind and should be on everyone's travel bucket list. Next up is the beautiful region of Calabria, located on the southern tip of Italy. Known mostly for its stunning coastline and rich culture, Calabria is definitely a must visit. One of the highlights of Calabria is its picturesque beaches. From sandy shores to rocky cliffs, there's a beach for every type of beachgoer. Given the prowess of its coastline, many beaches in Calabria offer water sports like snorkeling and diving allowing visitors to explore the vibrant marine life of the Mediterranean Sea. Calabria is also steeped in history and is home to many Roman and Greek ancient ruins. Visitors can explore the many beautiful churches and monasteries that dot the landscape. This region is also known for its hearty and flavorful dishes such as anduia, a spicy spreadable sausage, as well as being home to some of Italy's best wines including the famous Giro di Ossi. So pack your bags and head to the toe of the country's boot-shaped peninsula to discover the beauty Calabria has to offer. Right next door is our third region of Basilicata, a hidden gem of Italy which is often overlooked by tourists but is full of natural beauty as well as amazing food and culture. One of the main attractions in Basilicata is its stunning landscapes. The region is home to the Polino National Park, the largest national park in Italy which is a nature lover's paradise. The park is home to a diverse range of fauna and flora as well as beautiful hiking trails that offer breathtaking views of the surrounding mountains. This region is home to the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Matera, an ancient city built into rock. Visitors can explore the ancient cave dwellings known as the Sassi. Basilicata is also a standout when it comes to cuisine. With traditional dishes such as lagane e ceci, which consists of lagane, a wide pasta with chickpeas, garlic, and oil, as well as the famous picorino di filiano, a firm cheese made from sheep's milk. Basilicata definitely has something for everyone and is a hidden gem that's definitely worth exploring. Next up, we have Puglia a region located in the heel of the Italian peninsula and is known for its beautiful beaches, charming towns and delicious seafood. Travelers can explore the ancient town of Lecce which is often called the Florence of the South because of its stunning Baroque architecture and is expected to be on many tourist radar in the near future. This is also a region of great cultural significance and is home to the traditional Trulli houses which are cone-roofed houses made of limestone and are unique to this region. Puglia is also a region known for its amazing food such as Orecchiette Pasta. Its name comes from its shape which resembles a small ear. It's also known for its seafood dishes and its wines. From its picturesque seaside towns to its world-renowned olive oil, Puglia is definitely a region that leaves visitors wanting more. 
and reaching the halfway point of our tour of southern Italy is the region of Campania. This region is home to the vibrant city of Naples, which is considered to be the birthplace of pizza. Just a short drive from Naples, you'll find the stunning Amalfi Coast, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, known for its picturesque towns such as Positano and Ravello, and its crystal clear waters. Campania is also home to the ancient Roman city of Pompeii, which was buried by ash during the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD, and is now a popular tourist destination where you can see the well-preserved ruins of houses, public buildings and streets. The Amalfi Coast region is also known for the popular drink Limoncello. This is an Italian lemon liqueur traditionally served chilled as an after-dinner digestivo. From busy city streets to ancient ruins to the unmatched Amalfi coastline, Campania offers travelers everything that southern Italy has to offer. And now we enter our sixth region, Molise, a small region located between Abruzzo and Puglia. The charming region of Molise is the youngest and one of the smallest regions in Italy. This often overlooked region is a hidden treasure and full of natural beauty, delicious food and rich culture. One of the main attractions in Molise is the stunning seaside town of Termoli. Termoli is a port and fishing town and also has seaside resorts experiencing mostly local tourism from neighboring areas such as Puglia and Campania. This region is also known for its delicious cuisine. The region is known for fantastic pasta dishes. Both cavatelli and fusilli originated here and you'll find all shapes and sizes of pasta in a variety of delicious formats. Between its mountainous landscape and Adriatic coastline, there's no shortage of things to do here for someone looking for off the beaten path adventure. Our seventh region to explore is Abruzzo. Italy's best kept secret and definitely one for the nature lovers. This region is known for its stunning natural landscapes, including the Apennine Mountains, Adriatic Sea and is home to three national parks. One of the most popular activities in Abruzzo is hiking, with trails for all levels of experience from easy to challenging. Abruzzo is also a great destination for skiing with several ski resorts in the area. Some of the must-try dishes in Abruzzo include arrosticini, small skewers of mutton or lamb meat cooked over an open flame, and spaghetti alla chitarra, which is a pasta made from a special instrument called a chitarra that cuts the pasta into thin, square-shaped strands. Abruzzo is a great destination for those looking for a mix of outdoor activities and cultural experiences, so pack your bags and come explore this beautiful region of Italy. Up next, as we move into central Italy, we have the region of Umbria, known for its natural beauty and charming medieval towns of Perugia, Assisi and Orvieto, which offer a glimpse into the region's rich history and culture. One of the most iconic landmarks in Umbria is the Basilica of St. Francis in Assisi, a UNESCO World Heritage Site built in honour of Italy's patron saint. The basilica is known for its beautiful frescoes and artworks. The cuisine is heavily influenced by the region's agricultural traditions. Some must-try dishes include truffles, which are highly prized for their unique flavor, and prosciutto di noccia, a type of cured ham that is made from local pork and seasoned with salt and spices. Umbria is a great destination for those looking for a mix of history, culture, and delicious local food. Next up, we have Sardinia an island located in the Mediterranean Sea, known for its stunning beaches and crystal clear waters making it the perfect destination for those looking to relax and soak up the sun. However, Sardinia offers more than just beaches. The island is home to archaeological sites such as Sunuraji di Barumini, which are unique stone structures that were built by the island's ancient inhabitants. The island's Mediterranean and maritime culture makes for some must-try seafood dishes as well as other traditional Sardinian dishes like Kulujone, which is a type of filled pasta. Sardinia is the perfect destination for those looking for a mix of relaxation, culture and amazing food. And last but certainly not least is the region of Lazio. Located in central Italy and it's known for its rich cultural heritage and beautiful landscapes, known mostly for being home to the city of Rome, one of the most iconic and historically rich cities in the world. 
the city is home to numerous ancient Roman landmarks such as the Colosseum, the Roman Forum and the Pantheon. The Vatican City, the smallest country in the world and the spiritual center of the Catholic Church, is also located in Lazio. But Lazio offers more than just ancient history. It is also home to the beautiful natural landscapes and charming medieval towns of central Italy. The region is known for its beautiful lakes, such as Lake Bolsena, which offer a variety of recreational activities such as swimming, boating and fishing. Lazio's cuisine is also unmistakable, home to a number of traditional dishes and the famous spaghetti alla carbonara, a pasta dish made with eggs, bacon and pecorino cheese and porchetta, a traditional pork roast flavoured with herbs and spices. Lazio is an international standout with a wide variety of experiences and activities from exploring ancient history to discovering beautiful natural landscapes. This is definitely one that is a must see when coming to Italy. And that concludes our tour of the southern regions of Italy. As you can see, Italy is a truly amazing country and that is only half of it. Leave a comment below and let us know which one is your favorite and which one you'd be going on your next trip to. Remember to like and subscribe to Tournet Travel for more epic travel videos. Also share this with your friends so that you can start planning your next trip. Thanks for watching.